Her song helped thousands of bullied teens and has been viewed over 8 million times on YouTube. But the inspiration behind singer Whitney Wurz's song, Ghost Story, is more personal than you may know. Three years ago, I had a friend who I only knew from social media. She told me that she was suffering from depression and that she was cutting and she had planned to kill herself. I reached out to this organization called Bring Change to Mind and they told me to stay with her, but that was physically impossible. So I just wrote down my feelings that it became a song called Ghost Story. When she got it, she responded to me and she said that it helped her so much. This opened my eyes to the fact that there are so many people around the world who are going through these same issues. Young girl, why are you crying? Comfort my aches and pains. My name's Emma. I am 15. I was bullied all through middle school. That's when I was diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and an eating disorder. Cutting made me feel like I wasn't here anymore. It distracted me from the pain. When I was in eighth grade, I was being bullied, like pushed down the stairs and even spit on. And I tried to commit suicide. It's hard to talk about, but I have to because almost no one else does. This is the semicolon tattoo that I got. And it means taking a pause before you end the story and really think about how it will get better and not everything is permanent. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, which is recovery. Recovery is possible. Join us now is singer-songwriter Whitney Wurz. Whitney, welcome to the show. So good Thank to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So did you ever expect that big of a response to the song? I really didn't. I mean, I wrote this for one person. I had no idea that it would get all this exposure and everything. Like, in my head, I, I hoped for this. Like, I've gotten almost 9,000 people who have reached out to me, like, via Facebook or Instagram, sharing their stories with uh, what they struggled with, like depression or anxiety. And like, that's just so inspiring to me because I'm just so thankful that I can help this many people with just this one song. And you briefly mentioned it, but the friend who inspired the song, how are they doing now? She's doing great. I text her every day. She's still one of my best friends and she is now almost three years clean of cutting herself. That's so great. And <laughs> tell us a little bit about Bring Change to Mind. Yes, I partnered with this organization called Bring Change to Mind and it's run by Glenn Close. And I found this organization after I wrote this song for her and uh, they've just been awesome. And they're real, their whole thing is helping end the stigma around mental illness and just starting a conversation about it. I love that you did that because so often we're afraid to talk about it. We don't know how to address it. We don't know what signs to look for. Join us now in the audience, psychologist, licensed therapist, Dr. Chris Donahue, because especially when it comes to friends or parents with teens, what do you even know in terms of signs to look for to see if your child might be suffering with this? You want to look for severe mood change, weight gain, weight loss, but the number one signifier is usually isolation. And I think the call to action in all this is that you can't wait until there's a problem to try to have a relationship with your child. Parents have to start now so that if and when that occurs, they already have a closeness so they can really talk about it. It's so important to have that dialogue. And someone, by the way, from the organization you've been talking about, Bring Change to Mind, has a little message. Hello, I'm Glenn Close. I wish I could be with you for this interview. Whitney Wurz is a remarkable young woman who has become a, an incredible advocate for those living with mental illness. So I salute her. I'm incredibly proud of her. And have a wonderful time together. Bye. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Well, Whitney, we are, we are proud of you, too. What a bold thing for you to do. And your message really does, I think, bring people together. So many people out there watching right now may be suffering. If you want more information on the organization, bring change to mind. And also see a full video of Whitney's beautiful song, Ghost Story. Head to our website, thedoctorstv.com. And as always, if you, someone you know, is in crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. 1-800-273-TALK or 1-800-273-8255.
Don't wait until it's too late. Winnie, it's been a real pleasure to meet Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>